Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been about three weeks since my previous video, but I've been insanely busy and I'm pretty excited to show you the stuff I've been working on, but I can't yet. So today we're going to talk about the Form 2 and its fancy little resin tank here, which um, needs to be replaced uh, roughly, they, they recommend replacing it every two liters of resin. So I'm about to crack open a new bottle of resin, which is a different color than what I'm using here. This is clear resin. This is a, one of their newer gray formulas. So we had to get a new resin tank. Um, and in the process of that, we ended up with two of them here. There's the plain resin tank, which is identical to the one that's in here. And they just released... As far as I'm concerned, um, since the last time I had to buy tanks, they released a uh, resin tank LT, which is a apparently it's supposed to last 20 times as long as the uh, the existing tank, like the one I have here, which is a good deal. Now this is a hundred dollars versus fifty dollars for the previous ones, so it's uh, almost twice as much, but 20 times more use. I think is a good deal. So I figured we just open this up and look at it here and see what it looks like. So here's the, the deal, nothing else in the box. Um, the actual tray, as you can see the old one here is orange and the new one is some kind of ugh, fancy greenish tinted plastic. Now, I believe that they tint these to help keep UV light from um, affecting the resin that sits in here because the resin will just rest in the tray, but overall it looks the same. I just put my fingers right on the glass, which you're definitely not supposed to do, which is not very careful of me. Um, yeah, you don't want to touch this at all, which I just did. It doesn't appear that there's any fingerprints, so I think we're safe. Uh, overall, it looks basically just like the, the old resin container reservoir. Again, different color smells really strong kind of like photochemicals and I can't tell for sure but it looks like the the silicone might cover the entire bottom I'm not sure if it did that in the old ones or not um, but 20 times as long so I can't complain very much here but anyway I'm gonna swap this thing out here and we will take a look and I'm gonna use the lid that came with the, the new one and cover this so that it's um, so that I can store this clear resin. Oh, it turns out that the tray is a slightly different shape. I went to swap the lid, and the lid from the LT tray did not fit on the lid from the standard tray. What it is, is this side here on the standard tray, uh, it has like a little compartment here. So the compartment's not as wide or something. It's, it's a little different. So as you can see, this is the lid from the new tray, and this is the lid from the old tray. And there's a little bit of difference here. See this little section? And um, so yeah, so save your lids from your old ones. Um, I fortunately do have an extra one of these. I think in the past I had actually just thrown out one and expected that when I got the new, whatever, the new uh, resin, I could just swap it, which I'd be glad that I have one here. So keep that in mind, save your old lids because the LT lids don't fit the old uh, reservoirs. All right, so now we are gonna try to install this and hopefully it all goes in as planned. So this is the new one. This off with some alcohol really fast, the build plate. So the tray is swapped. The build platform is clean. I'm going to install a new resin cartridge here. Resin tank, unused, good. Cartridge, gray V4, which is good. It says heating. It looks good, I'm gonna go get a print started and we'll see if everything works the same. This uh, print is about to start and the resin tank is now filling with resin. So you can see the resin is very slowly filling up the tank. And if it'll focus, focus. And that's gonna take a little while. And even more resin filling the tank. See it pouring out back there. All right, we have been printing pretty much overnight with this new resin tank. Um, this is about 
the print said one day, four hours. And it is now about almost eight hours into this print. I know it doesn't look like much, but it should be real nice when it's done. Can't get into what it is yet, but uh, in a future video we will talk about what I'm actually printing here right now. Um, but yeah, the tank seems to be working just fine. Um, I do think the squeegee design is slightly different than the previous ones too, and I feel like it doesn't slosh as much. So maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's exactly the same, but uh, it does seem to be doing a good job here. And I'm quite happy, and the fact that this tank should last 20 times as long as the previous version is great. I just really wanted to show that tank before I filled it up with that SLA resin, which is really gross, and it makes it hard to see what the tank looks like. So um, this is probably only going to be a useful video for anyone with a Formlabs printer. Um, so far, this first print seems to be working just fine, which is what I expected, but you never know. Sometimes you get a new product, and it doesn't do what you expect. Um, I guess in a few months, whenever I've put a few liters of resin through this, I'll be able to tell you how it holds up compared to the uh, standard tanks. Uh, hopefully it does its job well. I'm really uh, excited that they now make a product that lasts so much longer. This printer is really, really rad. It's just expensive to run. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, kids. I will see you soon.